patient is a 70-year-old male, never smoker, 176 centimeters, 93 kilograms, for a total BMI of 30. Uh, his pa past medical uh, history is notable for arterial hypertension, hypothyroidism, and BPH, and there's no past abdominal pelvic surgery. In June 2023, he had an incidental finding of left renal mass at an abdominal ultrasound, and further images, and specifically an abdomen CT scan in July 2023, showed and confirmed a left mesorenal posterior renal mass of 43 by 36 by 37 millimeters in close contact with the mid inferior posterior calyx without signs of infiltration. No signs of arterial venous thrombosis, chest and bone negative for suspect metastasis. Last creatinine 0.64 in uh, June 2023. These are the four phases of the abdominal CT scan that shows that show it's different aspects of the left renal mass. It is a 50% endophytic mass with a Padua score of 10 in uh, close contact with the collector system and contacts the inferior posterior calyces. And if we go uh, closely to the um, vascularization, to the vascular system, we can see two uh, renal arteries and one renal vein and uh, it seems to be a little branch that causes uh, the fetus, uh, the, um, the tumor. It might be a venous branch. So if we go on, we can see the arterial face that gives us the opportunity to see some of the vascular aspects of the left kidney, the two arteries, of course, the, the left renal mass, posterior, medial, and mesorenal and the vascular system. Again, this is the urographic phase that uh, gives us the opportunity to show the relationship between the left renal mass and the, um, and the collector system. This is a 3D reconstruction provided by medics that show us the complexity of the case and the anatomy. In blue, you can see the vein. In red, you can see the arteries. In violet, you can see the cysts. There are some small cysts around the, uh, the pelvis. And uh, in yellow, you can find the uh, renal excretory system. Two renal arteries, you can see them. The main artery is the superior one. Uh, and uh, I'm thinking, what is your uh, strategy on the isolation of the pedicle and uh, on the pedicle uh, clamping? Uh, looking at uh, the images, uh, what is your opinion about these two steps? Uh, this is a very good question. Uh, first of all, I think I will uh, um, cut the, the gonadal vein. We had a discussion this morning that men feel pain afterwards. I never had a man who had pain after this maneuver. And I will do this because then I have a better uh, um, vision to the artery here. This is what I prefer at the left side. You see here, this is already the vein. Yeah. Huh? We can clearly see. And this is the vein here for the supraadrenal adrenal vein. So, but here, at the left side, you have normally here also this lumbal vein. Be aware of this here. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. can this see it. This some, is sometimes a little bit, a little bit tricky. I would like to know your position mm -hmm. uh, about uh, uh, no clamping, selective clamping, uh, and uh, 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 completely clamping of the, uh, the pedicle. Yeah, normally I do. Uh, a clamping of the artery because um, I will have a very good view to the tumor, especially in such a complicated uh, uh, situation. But uh, it depends. You know? We'll see afterwards when we immobilize the kidney, the tumor, and um, but I think we will. I will clamp both arteries. We saw at the 3D reconstruction that uh, both arteries uh, have a branch to the tumor. So. Um, 
I do not do an, uh, selective clamping. Okay. Um, and, uh, yeah, you, but you see here the kidney, it looks pretty good. Yes. Yeah. But here, it was from the beginning, it was blue. When we start, it was very weak. No? Yeah. But I did not, uh, the artery, I didn't manipulate the artery very hard, as I guess. Um, but this is a little bit, mm, I don't know what happened. And also, I, first I thought I was uh, intracapsular, but there's no capsule here. So I think the, the layers here are perfect. I'm not sure that you are intracapsular, but my feeling... No, uh, me too. Yeah. The only feeling that I had uh, during the pericle isolation was a very weak uh, uh, arteries. Uh, and uh, I don't remember the CT scan and probably we should recheck it uh, on um, eventually uh, a calcification or whatever, because... Yes. And now out. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is very clear. Two more, two more, two more, two more, two more, two more. Out. Okay. But this is what you already saw here. Yeah, I think uh, you can follow the resection line that you can clearly see. You are doing exactly what I was trying to explain, a free tension nucleation. And this is very important to avoid positive margins. Now we have to check here first. The ten. Uh, this is, a this is okay, I think. Yeah, so. yeah it's the sinus uh, fatty tissue. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Press here a little bit. In these cases, nucleation save you from positive margins. Yeah, when you have big masses that get inside, uh, uh, for sure you have to go for a nucleation, uh, especially in the inner part. Uh, you don't have any other chance, I think. It's very important to, to surround uh, the, the tumor. Yes. It's very, very important.